Yeah, hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Golden Gloves Catcher with me, Marius Bach from Poland. Marius, great to see you live in person. I know we've spoken on the phone. And of course, his fiance, Dominique. I'm like a manager. I'm, I'm a manager. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't sure if I was allowed to say manager or fiance. But this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is a boxing conversation. So you are the manager. Thank you, manager Dominique, for being here. Marius Bach, thank you for being here. Welcome to South Africa. Uh, first question I want to ask, I believe you've been to South Africa before, Dominic. Yes, I was. Uh, I've been here once to do a TV show. And Dominica, tell us uh, what, what is that about? It was Agent. Do you know that show? Agent. Agent. We were everywhere and we have a... a I don't know how you call this in English. We have to do some exercises. Okay, an investigation. So. And investigation. Okay, yes. fine. But you've, okay, fine. <laughs> you've been to South Africa before. so And I love South Africa. Actually. Thank you. I was going <laughs> to ask you, uh, obviously, you've, you've come into great weather. It's the start of summer now. We, we're known for our great weather, our great summers. And we're known for a lot of great things. It is a great country. So welcome to South Africa. Marius Wach, uh, we're here for, for the, the big fight against Kevin Arena. I want to talk to you a lot about that. Uh, let me first ask you, as the interpreter, uh, to ask Marius, please, when, where did it all start for him in boxing? What age was he and why did he be, become a boxer? Na początku zacząłem nie od, nie od boksu i te sztuki walki. Gdzieś tam oglądałem te filmy z Brusem Lee, Wejście Smoka i od tego tak naprawdę się zaczęło. Ale boks zacząłem w wieku 20 lat. Od 20 lat. Ok, so first it wasn't boxing. Uh, he started to uh, watch a TV. Wejście Smoka. Uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Lee. Yeah. Okay, we all know so, Bruce Lee. He, he was, uh, yeah. for him he was a star. And he started fighting when he was 20. 20, yeah. So and he was they... actually old. <laughs> But he's like six foot eight. In, in the old uh, uh, length of, of height. I mean, that's very tall, six foot eight. I mean, when, when said, did he start growing like that? Was it in high school? Kiedy zacząłeś tak rosnąć? Nie, no już w szkole podstawowej już byłem wysokim, wysokim um, facetem. Um, byłem chudy. He was always tall man, but he was very skinny. Okay. Teraz jestem yeah. wysoki And i parę kilogramów, sta parę kilogramów and... starszy. <laughs> And tall and not skinny. Ah, no, not skinny. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let, let's talk about the big fight. I mean, it's a massive fight, you guys. Are in South Africa now, you came in uh, with enough time, two weeks in, in advance, you came in so you can acclimatize. So you guys are taking the fight very serious. We've got the belt here that we're going to display just now, the IBF Intercontinental Belt, the heavyweight title that you guys will be fighting for. He's fought a lot of big names in, in the division. Yui Fury, Dylan White, Gerald Miller. Vladimir Klitschko, just to mention a few, which would Maria say is, would be his toughest fight? Która walka z tych wszystkich, które miałeś, była najtrudniejsza? Myślę, że psychicznie najtrudniejsza była z, z, z Klitschko, tak? bo to był pierwszy, pierwszy taki pojedynek e, o mistrzostwo świata, tak? Czech Federaty, więc nie dość, że fizycznie ciężko, to i psychicznie tak samo trzeba się dobrze przygotować psychicznie do takiego pojedynku. Okay, so for him it was very hard, probably with Klitschko, yes. because it was physical hard and uh, mental. And mental yeah. hard. Yeah, Vladimir Klitschko is one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And I don't know if you, you know from South Africa, Cody Saunders, yeah. we had a heavyweight that knocked out Vladimir Klitschko. So we were fortunate to have the, yeah. the WBO heavyweight champion as well, who passed on, unfortunately. But yeah, so Vladimir Klitschko is a big name out there that you fought and, and, and a good fighter and a really tremendous fighter. Let's talk um, Kevin Rina now, of course. We're talking 17 September. We're talking Empress Palace. We're talking a Golden Gloves show, um, Golden Gloves boxing tournament. Big one for, for you, Marius Vach. When you signed to fight Kevin Arena, what were your thoughts? Jak go słyszałeś o Kevinie Lorena, co pomyślałeś? Nie znałem tego zawodnika tak naprawdę. E, oglądałem jego, jego walki 
ma tylko dwie walki wagi ciężkiej, wady ciężkiej. Lubię wyzwania, lubię, lubię bardziej lepiej się czuję na w takich pojedynkach wyjazdowych na terenie przeciwnika niż, nie, niż u siebie w kraju. To jest czy się jak ryba w wodzie. Oh my god. It's very hard. So he he doesn't uh, he didn't know Kevin Lorena yeah. earlier and Kevin doesn't have many fights so he actually as yes as a heavyweight and he likes um, challenges yeah. and he likes to be uh, like um, like to be not in Poland yeah. but uh, the underdog Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's, it's a big fight for, for both of you. You know, for Kevin Arena, um, he's stepping up, fighting Marius Wachert. You're a big fight for Kevin Arena. He's a guy who's six foot one. He's a former IBO cruiserweight champion. Mm. Um, but he's moved up to heavyweights now. It's his third fight. And he, he's looking forward to making it in the heavyweight division. How do you see the fight going? Jak, jak ty widzisz tą walkę z Kevinem Arenem? Jak dla niego też to jest trudna walka, tak, bo przechodzi do... Tak, tak. No pewno dla, dla niego to jest bardziej stresujący pojedynek niż dla mnie. Aczkolwiek ja do każdego pojedynku przygotowuję się naprawdę sumiennie. Eee, mam naprawdę bardzo dobrych spartner, spar, sparych partnerów, e, dobre przygotowania fizyczne. Do każdego pojedynku, nieważne czy to jest w Polsce, z jakimś nieznanym zawodnikiem, czy, czy, czy z Kevinem teraz tak samo podchodzę, podchodzę do tego pojedynku. Ja czego mam zacząć? E, żeby, żeby odchodzę profesjonalnie do, do każdego pojedynku, że He's, na 100%. Uh, Marius jest very professional and he he's ready for 100%. We have a very good sparring że partners. Kevin ma więcej dostępu niż ja, nie? I don't know <laughs> that uh, for Kevin is. Uh, I think that we think that uh, for Kevin is uh, Kevin harder wie, than. On musi być w walce, wiesz, być miał większą prezentację. Because Kevin fight in uh, his town. No, yes. actually, his town, his uh, country. So it's uh, probably it's it's harder for him. Yes, it is a hard fight for Kevin. But we are ready for hundred percent. Well, Actually, Marius. <laughs> yeah, Marius is getting there. Well, you know, I was going to ask you, obviously, Kevin being a smaller guy, six foot one, um, but if you look at Alessandra Usak, he's the world heavyweight champion. Yes. And, and he's, uh, he's about the same size as Kevin. So I suppose the smaller guys or the, the cruiserweights can go up and become great heavyweights, like Evander Holyfield and Alessandra Usak. So I think these guys are dangerous if they're good fighters. The cruiserweights. What does Maurice Bach think about that? Co ty myślisz o tym, że y, że on jest niższy, ale może jak jest wysokości usok usyka? He understands yeah. everything actually. Yes. Myślę, że to on nie może teraz sparował do tego ostatniego pojedynku z wysokim zawodnikiem, ale nigdy nigdy nie walczył z dwumetrowym zawodnikiem i to będzie jego największy problem, tak? Ten zasięg ramion. E, b, 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 balans, tak? Ten mój wzrost będzie naprawdę sprawił mu, mu dużą, dużą, e, duży problem i niespodziankę. So probably for Kevin Arena uh, the most problem is that he's very tall. So and Zasięg ramionie. And I don't know how you call this. Yeah, how, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. So we think that this is his uh, most problem. Well of course the, the big uh, Belt is on the line, the IBO Intercontinental Belt. We, we had a look at the belt just now, and you guys love the belt. Um, you think there's some South African diamonds? That, be that belt is beautiful, I like. like that that belt. belt is beautiful. Um, but thank you, thank you for being here. Um, finally, of course, the, 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 the big boxing question always is, you know, give us a prediction. How do you see the fight going? And does Marius Bach definitely win? I know he understands everything I'm, I'm saying. Right? He understands, so try to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> you have no, no pressure, Mario, some yeah. English. Powiedz, że wie, że... Jak widzisz tą walkę? Że, że... Walka o pas. Zobaczyłem ten pas tutaj dzisiaj. To naprawdę przechodzą ciarki po plecach. I to do, 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 dodaje dodatkowej adrenaliny przed tym pojedynkiem i mi, i, i Kevinowi, tak? Że, że to naprawdę będzie dom, będą mega 
iskry w tym, w tym ringu. Ok, so when, when uh, Marius saw that uh, belt no. today, so he's more excited and he think that it will it be very good fight. And the, the, the results? Of course, he's the winner. Marius Bach, the winner. Nie no, jestem przygotowany na, na 100%. E, przyjechałem tutaj po to, żeby napsuć Kevinowi mnóstwo zdro, zdrowia, e, sprawić mu jeszcze więcej trudności, no i wygrać ten pas. Ok, so he comes here to win uh, that belt and to do Kevin's life a bit harder. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dominika. Thank you very Thank much, you. Marius Wach. Uh, we're going to see a lot of you guys now in the next two weeks in South Africa. Of course, you fought some of the great heavyweights in the world. And we hope to, to see a f another fantastic heavyweight fight in South Africa, brought to you by Golden Gloves, of course, and at Empress Palace. Marius Wach with Kevin Arena. That will be on the 17th of September. For me, Brian Mitchell, thank you for watching. That's Marius. <laughs> <laughs> Left bicycle. Thank you. Thank you.